Welcome back to Broken Electronics. I'm Lee and it's great to be here with you today. Now, I'm still living right now my PowerMac G3 Blue and White Adventure. So we, we have some more here to do. We've done a lot with it as you've seen in these last few videos. What I'm going to be dealing with today is a graphics card. What's currently in there is an ATI Rage 128. Uh, with a whopping 16 megabytes of video RAM. So we are going to replace that with uh, perhaps not the optimum card, but actually Mac flashed uh, PCI video cards of that era are relatively rare since Apple so soon went to the AGP uh, slots for video cards. Uh, but I have one here. This is an ATI Radeon 7000 with 32 megabytes of video RAM. Now that doesn't sound like much, but you look back at the time. Uh, 1999. Video RAM in any huge amount was pretty much unheard of. 16 megabytes seemed like a lot. And for what video cards had to deal with at that time, it was quite a bit. 32 is twice 16. Now, to, to get an idea of a quick judgment of video cards, we're going to use a very simple test. It's obviously far more complicated than that, but this is something we can see and see very quickly. And you can see an example of it behind me in this particular recording. The colors are not coming out right, but it is, of course, the iconic Flurry screensaver that has been known for Mac OS X for eons. <laughs> uh, so to start out with, before we actually do the upgrade, I want to take a look at the Flurry screensaver on various computers with various cards. So, I hope you're going to find this interesting, as I do. And if you do, of course, please stay tuned. Leading things off, this is the display connected to my 2010 heavily upgraded Mac Pro, which has a video card with 8 gigabytes of video RAM. And this is how the Flurry screensaver behaves. I think we can say with a good deal of certainty this is what it is supposed to look like. And now moving back about five years, my 2005 PowerMac G5 Quad. This has a video card with 512 megabytes of video RAM and I think you can see we have pretty much the same behavior. All right, moving on. Power Mac G4 Quicksilver with a 64 megabyte video RAM card. Again, displaying just fine. And then finally, the Power Mac G4 Sawtooth with a 32 megabyte video card. And with all of those, we're getting pretty much the same behavior. And we can see the computers themselves. There's the Power Mac, uh, excuse me, the Mac Pro. <laughs> Here's the Power Mac. Of course, they look basically the same. The Quicksilver and the Sawtooth. All right, so yeah, I'm going to have to reset because I've got the blue and white running in another room. So to see what uh, that with its 16 megabyte card can do, please stay tuned. Well, I had to turn out all the lights in the room just so that you could get the idea that it's doing anything at all. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the flurry screensaver 
trying <laughs> its level best to display on a 16 megabyte video card. So the 32 megabytes will make all the difference. Now, obviously you don't do this just for a screensaver. Uh, it makes a, a decided difference in many areas. Uh, now, the, the question always seems to come up. Can it play YouTube videos? Uh, <laughs> friends, it's a 350 megahertz PowerPC G3. I don't think any amount of video card that we can put in this thing is going to get it to play YouTube. But, you know, if you want to indulge that question a little bit, stay tuned and I'll try to set one up. While we're waiting for YouTube to load up, uh, take a quick look in System Profiler, uh, Graphics. And there we see our ATI RAGE 128 and it's whopping 16 megabytes of video RAM. Uh, Quartz Extreme is not supported. Core Image is not supported, which is not surprising. Uh, it does take quite a while for 104 Fox to load. Now, that's a problem with 104 Fox trying to deal with the modern internet on a 21 and a half year old computer. Uh, in reality, while this machine is capable of running Tiger, it isn't necessarily capable of running it well. Having upgraded the RAM to uh, one gigabyte, that helps a great deal. Okay, so it'll, it'll be a moment here for me to go back through this and actually get the video I intend to play called up, so please stay tuned. Well, uh, takes quite a while, but it actually did load up. Let's, let's give the machine credit. It loaded everything on this page. Now, as far as playing the video, as I told you, it's not going to work, but let's at least see. Welcome back to Broken Electronics. I'm Lee, and as we'll always, it's great to be able to spend some time with you today. I, I hope you've been enjoying... So you can see what we're getting is a slideshow. Mac as the relatively new machine tries to keep up uh, with, with this video. Coming, but I'd like to and you can listen to it at any rate. And I am going to feature an example of one of the most powerful Power Max available. Just trying to see if maybe it'll In mid catch up a little bit. Probably not. And there you see it. So yeah, yeah. the slideshow is behind the audience. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right. So obviously, and it was a powerful machine. Huh. It's dead. You know, we'll, we're going to look at it. And I think this we'll isn't working. Today is obviously not. It's dead. all right. So it we'll perform our upgrades, system. and I'll be honest it's with you. Original. I don't think. As I said, any amount of video card is going to get YouTube to display. But we should see some definite improvements nonetheless. So, please stay tuned. Okay, so we've got the machine opened up. Oh, we might want to huh, disconnect the VGA. I'm also glad I have VGA cables of these old machines. Uh, wouldn't display much at all. That's all they've got. And even with our upgrade, that's all it's got. All right. That's easy. There we go. There we 
go. All right, and now bring that back. Get you set up so you can see the screen again. Oh, let's get the light off. Okay. Not chimed, that's a good thing. You were sitting on the huh, keyboard, pardon me. Having to reconfigure. All right, we've got video anyway. So the thing obviously works. All right. Okay. It does, for whatever reason, take a moment or two for about this Mac to come up. And here we are. Everything here exactly as it's been. Graphics and displays. Hmm. ATI VGA, it's not really identifying the card. ATYRV100. Oh! Oh! Look at that! Get you in there so you can see that. 64 megabytes. <laughs> that ad, I'm sure of it. The, the ad, uh, I got this on eBay, of course. Uh, I am quite sure that ad said 32. I'll go back and check it. But uh, in fact, I may do that right now. So what we're going to need to do at this point, of course, is wait I've got it set for three minutes on uh, for the screensaver to appear, so I won't make you sit here listening to me jabber away for that time, so please stay tuned. Okay, well, will you look here? Popping up and displaying very, very, very well. Okay. So, another worthy upgrade. Now, I did, by the way, as we were waiting for the screen server to come up, uh, I went back through my eBay history, and sure enough, this was advertised as a 32 megabyte uh, ATI Radeon 7000. Uh, now, it's not saying anything about Radeon 7000 in there. Did the guy send me the wrong card? Well, I'm not going to complain, mind you. Uh, now, the, the, the downside to it, uh, as we saw, it's not 
supporting quartz extreme so it's not going to no matter what kind of hoops I might jump through to try to convince it it won't ever run leopard uh, leopard isn't supposed to run on a G3 at all anyway uh, although I've got some tricks planned for the future that that might make a difference but it, it's it's not going to be worth doing okay um, now I'm just curious since this is a much more powerful card than I had thought it's not going to play a YouTube video but let's let's at least give it a chance and see so please stay tuned well I'll give it some credit I was able to get to this point a good deal more quickly uh, page elements did load up faster some of that may be due to caching I'm not sure uh, but just images coming up faster I think that has a lot to do with it all right now looking here I've been letting it preload for several minutes now I don't think it's going to preload much further than it has and as I said I <laughs> I don't think this is going to work, but let's let's give give it a shot anyway. I hope you Yep, it's a slideshow. Welcome back to Broken Electronics. I'm Lee, and as always, it's great to be able to spend some time with you today. I hope you've been enjoying the little sojourn we've taken into Mac laptops relatively new to quite a bit older. Uh, and there's now more that's of that funny. content coming. Okay, yeah. so the, the picture is moving. I'd like if playback doesn't begin shortly, try well, restarting your device. I'm Lee and as always, well, that's funny. It keeps, it keeps skipping back to the beginning. It didn't do that I, before. I been enjoying the little sojourn we've taken into Mac laptops relatively new to quite a bit older, uh, and there's more of that content coming, definitely. <laughs> but I'd like to spend our time today and maybe the next couple of videos after this. Uh, yeah. That, welcome back to Brooklyn. And here it goes. It skipped back to the beginning always, again. Great to be able to I almost time wonder time if it's today. trying to play. Um, let me give it a minute to mess around. Stay tuned. Okay, last try. Welcome back to Broken Electronics. I'm Lee, and as always, it's great to be able to spend some time with you today. I, I hope you've been enjoying the little sojourn we've taken into Mac laptops relatively I'm just going to quite a bit older. Play this long well, enough to see if it coming, does the start and stop but thing again. Like spend our time today and maybe the next couple of videos after this. Uh, returning to the world of power Turn course. my voice down. And I am going to show you an example of one of the most powerful power maps available in mid 1990s. I mean, for what little it's worth, it does look a little better. But it doesn't seem to be doing what it was doing earlier, where it would keep skipping back to the beginning with the audio. I keep wondering if it's going to do anything different. Uh, but yeah, preloading didn't do anything. So yeah, this is this is really this is a processor issue because also the fact that yeah you know, the machine is restricted to uh, Tiger. You know maybe maybe if you could run Leopard and then consequently run WebKit, which deals better. I don't know. But, no, uh, as I said from the very beginning, this was a long shot. This was not, <clears throat> not likely to happen ever. Uh, but anyhow, we do have an upgraded video card. Things do look better. 
Uh, and the floor screensaver worked, so I'm very, very pleased with that. Well, we've got uh, a bit more yet to come with this machine, uh, so I hope you enjoy that. Uh, be good to other people. Other people deserve and need it, and we need to make this world a better place. Be good to yourselves so you can enjoy the better place. It isn't, so please take very, very good and careful care in these difficult times. We will have more stuff soon. There, there's still blue and white material yet to come and a bunch of other stuff too. So until that point, please remember this has been Baroque Electronics.